Christian, thank you for being on Fab TV. Thank you for talking to me again. Wow. Yo, it's amazing. Huh? I'm talking to you a lot today. <laughs> so, um, La Suerte de Loli, but what about La Suerte de Christian? I mean, when people come up to you and they say, oh, you're so lucky, how do you feel about that? Well, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's difficult because sometimes people think that you know, you're lucky, but sometimes it's a hard work too. And sometimes it's just being there and trying once and again. Uh, and yeah, well, I can say that I'm lucky also because I know a lot of people that they try, they try, they try, and they don't get it, never what they want. And for me, I can say that when I uh, put my eyes in something, I, I, I usually get it. Have you ever assisted anybody like on a photo shoot or was, you know, something like a, a home improvement at home? Have you ever assisted in any of those kind of ways? No, never, never. I, no, I have never done that. Okay, so you're playing an assistant for a global, this global show. So where did you get the energy and the style and the, to bring this, the role to life? Well, uh, there's... Um... Marta, which I, I know her for a long time, and she's the assistant of Pedro Damian, a producer, uh, the producer for, for uh, Rebelde. And she always uh, attracted me like the way she, she was, because she was always so fashion, and, and she was always in everything. She, she had all the info about everything. She always was one step ahead from, from Pedro, and I, I think that's amazing. I mean, for me, I think to be an assistant is really a hard work 24 seven. And, uh, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it. When I read about the character, it was amazing to, to look at like, like a character, which his sexuality is, 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 is not defining, defining uh, the story, his story. The story never talks about his sexuality, and that's amazing because I think that that's something we have to we, we have to change. And me as a gay artist, as a gay actor, uh, it's amazing to look at this kind of characters that now represent the the community in a different way. That it's not only about their sexuality. How come in comedy we do need some sadness and emotion to make it work? I don't want to give away what happens in it, but. <laughs> Well, it's, it's life. I think that this is totally, it is a dramedy. And uh, I think life is like that. Uh, we go through difficult moments, but at the same time, we have to give it a smile to, it, to them, no? Um, I think Latinos, we, we really do that the whole time. I mean, Mexicans, we have the Dia de los Muertos and we laugh about death because we are scared of death. And, and uh, I think that uh, comedy and, and, and tragedy, it's something that it's together. They're, they're, they go together. And I think it was something really risky from Telemundo because uh, when I was reading the first episodes, I was like, oh my God, this could be done so good. Or if you don't find like the comedy in the, in the right uh, moment, it, it could be a mess, but I can tell you that right now it's amazing, uh, and, and we, we've been enjoying it a lot. You know, I was really impressed when I watched La Suerte de Loli, the way it's shot, the camera angles, and the way it progresses in the movement. Uh, it's like the Latino world has really caught up. You know, I don't want to say that to judging those, but it's it's, I feel like I'm watching like a regular, you know, it's the rest of the world caught up in the style of filming. So how do you feel about that? You're, you're, it's like you're, you're watching like a movie. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's like, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing how, how it's, it's doing, they're doing this uh, super serious in, in Telemundo with, with this high quality, as you said, like a film. Uh, and it's amazing because it's it's what people deserve. I think that we have right now we are, are in a moment of uh, competition where you can see produ productions everywhere, and you cannot uh, get behind just because you're Latino, right? Especially right. if you're Latino right now. That's right. On the set, ¿quién es el más serio? 
who's always late and who's the funniest? Okay. Uh, I think el más serio. I think Osvaldo. Osvaldo is really like polite. He's really nice. Don't get me wrong. He's not like like a bad guy. He's really nice, but he's really quiet. Uh, and he's really polite. Who's late? To be honest, I think that's one of the wonderful things about this production. You don't have, everybody here is so committed to their part and, and, and to, the, to the project that you don't see uh, anyone getting late. I mean, yes, it could happen that somebody had a traffic accident in maybe one hour or, but because of something, you don't see people that are just like, oh, sorry, again and again doesn't happen here. Well, not at least in the universe that I, 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 I play. Um, and uh, the funniest one, I will say that's me. <laughs> I, you know, it's just like, I love to, to, to I'm, a, I'm a practical joker and I, I love to be like saying uh, stupid things and just making people laugh and that uh, I think that's so important and so I don't know it's part of my personality and, and it's part of how I also go through difficult times and I think that that's why I love this 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 project so much because it represents totally my way of, of, of being and seeing life. Por qué? Why should people watch La Suerte de Loli? Well, people should watch La Suerte de Loli uh, because, because it's, it's a great comedy. It's a great combination of comedy and, and, and drama. And it, it really had a high standards of production, as you said. Uh, also, we have a super talented, uh, we have a super talented, uh, set of actors. I mean, it's, it's amazing how one is better than the other. And it's amazing how everybody is so connected. And, and also because we're talking about subjects that they're really important to put on the table. And especially right now, and in a, in a, in a way that it's a comedy. And it, so it's not so aggressive, or it's not like too much in your face. So if you really want to get at one hour of, of, of happiness and just laugh and, and cry, watch La Suerte de Loli in Telemundo because you're going to love it. Are you going to sing in the series? <laughs> well, I'm going to be, I'm going to be with uh, Paulina Rubio. Probably I'm going to be talking a little bit like her, but no, I'm not going to be singing in the series now. Okay. I thought, I thought for sure you're going to be a little, some little, you know, action. No, it's not a musical show though. But, yeah, well, you never know. Probably we, we'll do uh, La Suerte de Loli, the musical. <laughs> that would be awesome. Looking back at your past career, and while you work on the show, like, like Class A 406, or like, what, what do you remember in your past that's helping you right now be, you know, Mateus? Uh, well, I think that for me, the, the opportunity of, of, of of having a character, as I said, um, as a gay actor, that it's it's a gay uh, guy, but the the gay the the gay part is not the main part of his story. That's amazing. I think that's an evolution uh, for everyone, and especially for me. And I love that I'm doing this uh, with Telemundo because I think it's about time. And um, I don't know. For me, this is another battle. Born. Let me jump in real quick. Are you the first? Are you the first male? Am I the first male? What? A, a gay actor to have such a, a leading role? Well, yes, yes. I mean, in this way, yes. I mean, as I said, in in the way of being uh, not the 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 main uh, subject. You know, I mean, I am gay. Uh, the character is gay, but the subject that he's going through in, in, in his story, it's about, he's been married for six years with his uh, partner and then 
uh, he feels like he's ahead, I mean, behind him because uh, he's the assistant and his partner, he's like a famous architect. So he starts to feel less on him. And then his partner, he wants to have an adoption and he's not sure if he's gonna be a dad. So that's the amazing thing about, about that. I don't know if I will find the first one, but for sure I haven't seen it before. Well, hey, the show looks hilarious. I, I, from everything that I saw, it looks super well done. I uh, can't wait to tell everybody about it. And uh, I'd like to talk to you uh, maybe in six months or so to see what the reception was after the premiere or whatever, so. Yes, please, Fernando, I'm gonna be waiting. Okay, pleasure to talk to you again. To you too, have a nice day. Oh, fab, good night. Estes <laughs> bien. Igualmente, bye.